Hello, I just got done with a, quite a difficult day, uh, mostly done. I guess we're still going to do some scheduling, emails, and check in on students. But uh, anyway, I'm inside. I think everybody's left. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, uh, just make sure the light is off in the school. I'm just kind of making sure, when I think about it, that that stuff is done. And then... Uh, I just got uh, some soup to reheat, so I go to the ancient microwave there, and, and put a more or less random time in there to reheat my soup, and uh, now I'm just going to, I guess I'm going to just lay down here, where I can hear the microwave on the kitchen floor, and uh, hadn't yet decided what the meditation is going to be. What's up there, buddy? Do you think it's meditation time? Yeah? How are you doing? And, uh, so, this meditation will end when the microwave dings. How are you doing? Yeah, it's good to see you. It's very good to see you, sure. Yeah. And uh, normally I kind of figure out what the meditation will be before we do it. Uh, but I haven't had a moment to figure that out. And I got more work ahead of me. And I really need to eat. And I was just a bit about to hit the timer. Uh, oh, we got a passenger climbing aboard. How you doing, buddy? And uh, so... The um, the idea here was just hit start on the microwave, knowing that when it dings, I'm done. But that doesn't mean that I have to know what the meditation is or where I'm going to do it. I didn't know I was going to lie down here. Uh, so it's important to note here that what I'm not doing is timing my meditation, where I didn't set it for a certain amount so I can meditate for that long. Rather, I'm bounded by some amount of time, which I didn't pay close attention to, or am tracking now. And I'm going to find meditation within that bound. So, in your life, this might look different. Like, I'm just going to meditate uh, until there's the ring at the door, or my boss you know, gets back to me and the phone buzzes, or something that I kind of know is bounded, but not exactly by what dimension of time. You know, so you might be walking a dog and be meditating until the dog has done their business and, and starts to pull to head back home, just for example. So I know that at some point the ding will go and I've just decided you know that you know that that'll be the end um, sometimes you don't get to decide because you know somebody's at your door and needs you and you know that that's it you could be meditating while you're waiting for your kid to come out um, of their school while you're waiting there and so you might meditate until the kid's at the door and then all right that's the end of it uh, so walking your dog, kid at school, in my case the microwave. So I've just laid down on the floor and I hadn't yet decided, but what I can do is decide how to sanctify the space. And so what I'm gonna do, I just kinda took note of a crack in the floor that needs fixing, but I'm also, so that's kinda looking at something that needs addressing. But I'm also now just gonna take a look and a feel at the grain of the wood and the, the feel of the flatness and the temperature and the color of the wood. I'm kind of just appreciating something about the wood, which I suppose I could show you. you know, there's a little crack that I noticed, which maybe you can see. So that probably needs some kind of work. There we are. So, hey Saki, how you doing? So, 
kind of noticed something that needs addressing. I've noticed some bits that I appreciate, kind of bringing me into this space. And I'm going to feel into my body, feel into my mind. How am I? What is this state that I'm in? Who is it that's finding me this way? And I'm going to invite my breath, the breath, in to explore this space. And I'm just going to set my intention not to uh, judge my meditation this time. That's my intention this time. It's not to judge the merit, the effect, the process of this meditation. So I'm going to try and let go of the the, the teacher in here that said, oh, that's not right, that could be done better. So I'm inviting the breath into the space as I ask myself, how am I now? How are things at this time? In a space that I've come to be present in this wood floor with the cat. Of course, knowing that the microwave will ding at some point doesn't mean that I'm going to have any anxiety about that. So part, in this case, I'm also kind of making sure that I'm okay with the idea that this will end not through my own cause. And there it is. So I'm just going to have one breath. And let that constitute the entire meditation. So we came into the space, came into our body, invited the breath into the space, set the intention to not judge, set the secondary intention not to fight against the microwave time, which is out of my control. And so, we're going to go have dinner, and that is our very special microwave timer meditation. <laughs> so, since there's a heart in the background, we will, we will bow here. Thank you.